Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what are headwinds, tailwinds, and crosswinds, and the impact of these on an aircraft. First, let's understand what is wind. Wind is used to describe large scale movement of air. The movement of air is caused by pressure difference in two regions of the atmosphere. Generally, air moves from high pressure to low pressure. The pressure difference is caused by uneven heating of the Earth's surface. The wind strength may vary and can be from any direction. Depending on the direction of the wind and the direction in which an aircraft is flying, the wind may be classified as headwind, tailwind, or crosswind. These winds may or may not be beneficial to an aircraft. Let's see this in more detail. What is headwind? When the wind direction is opposite to the direction in which an aircraft is flying, then it is called headwind. Headwinds are beneficial during takeoff or landing phases of flight. During takeoff, the wings generate more lift because of the headwinds. This means less runway length is required for takeoff. During landing, headwinds increase the drag on the aircraft, which again means less runway length is required to slow down the aircraft to a safe speed. Headwinds are not beneficial in the cruise phase, since they will increase the drag acting on the aircraft, which will increase the fuel burn. Headwinds also result in reduced ground speed, which increases the flight time. What is tailwind? When the wind is in the same direction in which an aircraft is flying, then it is called as tailwind. Tailwinds are beneficial in the cruise phase because the drag is reduced, so there is a reduction in the fuel consumption. Tailwinds also result in an increase in the ground speed of the aircraft, which means reduction in flight time. Tailwinds are not beneficial in the takeoff, climb, or landing phases because they will increase the runway length requirement. This is because during takeoff, the airflow over the wings is reduced, hence less lift is generated, so aircraft needs longer runway to accelerate to higher speeds. During landing, there is less drag, so more distance is required to decelerate the aircraft. What is crosswind? A wind that is blowing from the right or left side of an aircraft is known as crosswind. During takeoff or landing, the aircraft's nose will tend to yaw into the wind. For safe operations, in crosswind conditions, flight control inputs would be constantly required to maintain the aircraft on the runway center line. The nose while steering, rudder, or ailerons are used to achieve this. During cruise, crosswinds would affect the aircraft's flight path. The crosswind will deflect the aircraft in the direction of the wind. To compensate for the crosswinds, crabbing technique is used. Here, the aircraft flies sideways on a particular track. This technique is also applied during approaches in severe crosswind conditions. That's all for my video on headwinds, tailwinds, and crosswinds. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.